all of us harbor dark recesses of violence and horror. I'm just a man hiding in the corner with a camera, watching. Mr. Hitchcock, you're the most famous director in the history of the medium, but you're 60 years old. Shouldn't you just quit while you're ahead? This is murder. I'm getting blisters just watching you. He's going out of his mind looking for his next project. I need something fresh, something different. It was the knife that, a moment later, cut off her scream and her head. Charming. Doris Day should do it as a musical. Good afternoon. This book, Psycho, is fiendishly entertaining. Is this really going to be your next picture? Yes, madam. By the way, try the finger sandwiches. They're real fingers. You know, I'm a huge Hitchcock fan, number one. But what I didn't know was that Hitchcock paid for Psycho from his own pocket. I thought that was a crazy story. I, I almost couldn't believe it was true. But he did. No one respects the name Hitchcock more than Paramount. But even a talented man sometimes backs the wrong horse. This is Mr. Hitchcock's next film. Fine, if you can get the money. Who do I make it out to? He was feeling old. He was 60 years old at the time of he made Psycho. He was coming off a huge success in North by Northwest. It was a big success. And he could have done anything. And he decided to do this low-budget, terrible horror movie. Uh, but he knew he could do something special and elevate it and make it this incredible movie. And I just love the idea of a 60-year-old 60 60 -old man who feels like he's dying and irrelevant, willing to risk everything to kind of tell this story. And that's what I love was there was a certain defiance to it. There was like a spirit, you know what I mean? Which was kind of like, screw everything, I'm gonna take a big risk. And I, lo I love that. And, and Hopkins loved that story too. So we decided to tell it. You are intrigued, aren't you? Killing off your leading lady halfway through the movie. How are you going to shoot this shower scene? It's only that, well, from here up, I'm not exactly boyish. You shouldn't wait till halfway through. Kill her off after 30 minutes. Wow. Well, they're great actors, and, and uh, but for, for Tony and Helen, who are, who are known as stage actors as much as film actors in England, it was the first time they'd ever worked together. And so for me, it was an incredible privilege to be able to work with them. I am your wife. I celebrate with you when the reviews are good. I cry for you when they are bad. And I put up with those people who look through me as if I were invisible, because all they can see is the great and glorious genius Alfred Hitchcock. Tony is so brilliant that he, he goes off, he reads all the biographies, he read the book, he studies the Alfred Hitchcock Presents, he studies all the programs, and then he comes back to you and he goes, good evening. You know, he's a, he's a brilliant mimic, he's also a brilliant actor. Uh, but then we put the costume on him, the fat suit, the makeup, you know, everything, and he became Alfred Hitchcock, and that was what was wonderful. Why are you letting him do something so tasteless? Don't upset yourself, darling. It's only a bloody movie. More anger! More! <laughs> I worked on a little bit of the script myself as well, so there were a few hands in that process. Um, but yeah, I love John McLaughlin's script. He did a terrific job. Jessica's really good in the film. I think that many people see her as a certain kind of big Hollywood movie star, and in fact, she's a really terrific actress, and I think that hopefully this film allows us to showcase a little bit more of her ability. I promised mother I wouldn't tell. I think all great artists are sort of children, you know, all artists are children, because you want to have that side of yourself where you feel free to discover and invent and make things up. And he was like a sort of five-year-old petulant child, and I just thought that was really funny. And I think that Anthony Hopkins loves playing him that way. Come on! Ah! married to a man obsessed by murder. This will not be released in this country. Show me some damn footage now! He was still there, and yet he was being treated like he was, it was all over for him. And I like that. An artist who's, like, determined to prove that he's still relevant. Uh, and that was a very powerful thing in, in Hitchcock. He always wanted to be right at the cutting edge. He was so original, he invented all these brilliant new techniques, whether it was perspective shots or POV shots or uh, juxtapositions and montages. I mean, he was absolutely brilliant. Great, thank you very much.